All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're, we're getting close to that thousand and I can't wait. Um, I, I, I got a couple of um, pre-congratulation um, gifts, one of them being this Alpha Gen hat from Alpha Gen for Performance. So, um, so Mike and Dustin, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, we're like I said, we're get we're that close, and once we get there, there's a lot of there's a lot more opportunities that are going to open up for the channel. So uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, in today's video, we're actually going to start to assemble the bottom end of the motor. Um, it's been a it's been a while. I've had everything. I've had to wait for things. But the way I'm actually going to shoot this video is. I'm actually just going to go ahead and get started. I'm not really going to explain anything, just do it. But real quick, well, I'll explain it right now. And basically, what we're going to do is the oil squirters have to go in first, then the crank. Uh, I'm sorry, no. Then the, um, the bearings, um, for the, uh, the main bearings, then the crank, then the caps, Obviously, we have to put the um, bearings in for the, uh, the rods, and then we are going to install the pistons into the block. So that's pretty much what this video is going to be. Basically, I'm going to um, do all that, not talk, and fast, basically fast forward um, through those parts, just because it's not really an instructional video, but I still want you to see the process. Um, and then, you know, if you guys have any questions after that, just let me know. Um, so let's get started. interruption um, I did end up taking out the uh, the main studs because you want to put the crank in first without the studs because you don't want to like you don't want any of the journals to rub up it's up against the uh, studs and risk potential of scratching the journals so I removed those and now I'm gonna continue also, as you can see, the uh, oil squirters are all set, so we're good there. Now it's time to put the bearings in and put the crank in, you know, all that other fun stuff.
you see we got the crank in. One thing you want to do is just make sure that um, it does spin freely, which as you can see, I'm moving it by hand and it spins freely. So we're good there. The only thing I want to double check is so they put um, to torque this to 60 foot pounds of torque. And what you guys saw me do was do it in three steps, 20, 40, and then 60. Well, I'm just curious because those are the machine shop's torque specs. So I just want to make sure that it's okay that I'm following their torque specs, specs and, and not ARPs. Um, so I'll probably contact them in the morning. Um, I think I'm going to stop for tonight and then continue tomorrow. Um, just so that way I can think some of this stuff through. Okay, so before I decided to go in the house, I uh, kept the box, the ARP box, and... The machine shop was kind enough to actually put 60 foot pounds of torque instead of 70. So I did it to 60 foot pounds, so we're good. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to continue um, just putting in the pistons and things like that. So that ought to be fun. Let me know what you guys think so far. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section um, and I will definitely answer them. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. No, the video is not over. Okay guys, it's the next day and as you can see, I have a piston in. The reason why I have this piston in, which I did about 10 minutes ago, was just to make sure that I could get it in with no issue using, using this right here. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, I've been watching a lot of um, um, horsepower on Hulu or Prime, I think, it, wh whichever one. And what I did learn from watching all that as well is it helps if you take the whole the piston um, obviously once it's on the rod and if you're gonna put it in the block dip the whole thing in oil and then put it in the block also you're gonna want to make sure that you uh, lube up the block just take some of that oil and just put it on a rag and lube up the side some so that way you're not going to there's no metal on metal contact um, but it took me like five minutes, not even five minutes to put the piston in. You just want to be careful. The other thing too is ring orientation. So just to kind of give you a quick idea of where the rings are, let's start from the bottom in the sense that, okay, the bottom oil ring sits about, sits about here. The top oil ring sits about here. The oil expander, which is that uh, squiggly one, the opening sits here, okay? The <clears throat> top compression ring, the opening sits here, and the uh, second compression ring, the opening sits here. Um, and that's how it's going to be for all four, um, or eight, or whatever you're doing. But um, we are going to continue putting the rest of these in. And um, then I gotta go pick up Noah. So it's coming along. I mean, one, come on, look at that, look at that. All right, let, let, let's get this done. All right, got everyone. So all four pistons are in. We still have to put the uh, the caps on, but that's not going to be too hard. Um, I just got to go pick up Noah now, so uh, I'll do the, that when I get a little bit later. We'll talk them down and then end the video there. Um, also, too, I did film more to this video, but I'm just going to save it because I did install the boost controller. Um, but I'm just going to save it, so when you see that film, and if I refer to... Um, putting together the block it's because I kind of filmed that before but you know films film but yeah let me go pick up Noah and I'll talk to you in a little bit all right guys it's the next day um, we just got to finish torquing up the uh, the rod bolts on on the block um, I just decided to take a break I'm more obviously we're from home right now so um, but I need a little break so I was gonna finish that up and then and this video so that way I can edit it and get it out to you guys um, the other thing is too is actually let's let's do this first and then I'll tell you all 
Alright guys, there you have it. Everything is uh, torqued on the bottom end. One thing I didn't tell you guys was I actually put the uh, rear main seal on first um, because I tried to do it the last time I did the motor here. I put the rear main seal on last after I put the girdle and stuff on and it was a pain in the butt to get that rear main seal in. So um, I actually, again, I watch, I, I, I've been watching a lot of engine power and they actually put that on before they installed the crank so they put it on as they were installing the crank um which which which, which was a good idea so um i recommend doing that the other thing is too if you can get a digital torque wrench oh my god this makes it so much easier and less nerve-wracking um than my old torque wrench so um, and i picked this up at harbor freight for like 150 bucks but it was worth every penny and then um you know so we will continue with the build. I can finally clean this table off. I think, again, the next step is getting the uh, girdle on there um, and then the oil pump and things like that. The other thing is, too, I, I did order a new part, a part I wasn't intending on ordering, um, but I did order it from Generator, except I'm going to go pick it up because it was heavy freight and I only live like two towns over, so I'll probably go pick that up tomorrow and I'll tell you guys what it is in the next video. But... Now I have to sell something that I ordered and never installed in the car. So, um, I'll let you guys know what that is. And uh, then the head. We've got a lot of stuff com coming up on the channel and things like that. So, um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to that thousand. And I really appreciate you guys. So, um, let, let, let's get there um, and um, see where we can go after that. Okay? Because I'm thinking something like ghost peppers. And if you've watched to the end of the video, then ask me what I'm talking about. So anyway, until next time. Oh, oh, before I say that, to, before, before we end, um, I am gonna put the I am gonna put out the video of the uh, install of the manual boost controller. I started to film that first and then decided to separate the two videos. So st stay tuned for that. So until next time. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and make no limitation your only limitation. Peace. Oh.